If the Earth were only a few feet in diameter, floating a few feet above a field somewhere, people would come from everywhere to marvel at it. They would walk around it, marveling at its big pools and little pools of water, and at all the water running in between. They would marvel at the bumps on it, the holes in it, and the very thin layer of gas surrounding it. They would celebrate the creatures on its surface, in its waters, and in the air. People would declare it as sacred because it is the only one, and they would protect it so that it would not be hurt. The ball would be the greatest wonder known, if only the Earth were a few feet in diameter. But of course, it's huge, and humans have taken it for granted for far too long, while not being exactly kind to our home planet. Here in Hamilton, the area's once pristine wilderness was inalterably changed after only 200 years of human impact. The result was deforestation and loss of irreplaceable natural areas to sometimes hasty and poorly planned development. Waterways were being diverted in the name of human progress, creating flooding, erosion, destruction of property, loss of wildlife habitat, and loss of life. The devastation left by Hurricane Hazel in 1954 spurred a small group of concerned and forward-looking citizens into action. And on June 20th, 1958, the Spencer Creek Conservation Authority was born. With no office, no staff until 1964, and only borrowed resources, men of vision took on the responsibilities of solving flood issues in the watershed, protecting and restoring our water resources, preserving environmentally significant wetlands, woodlands, and all the creatures within, educating the public, both young and old, on how to care for our natural resources preserving historical sites on conservation lands, and providing recreational opportunities for the well-being of all watershed residents in Hamilton and Puslinch. Today, Hamilton Conservation Authority has a 50-year reputation as a proven ecology-based conservation organization specializing in watershed management. Over the past five decades, HCA's founders, leaders, and pioneers have built a conservation legacy to be proud of, one stream, one marsh, one meadow, one tree at a time. In the early years, the overriding imperative was buy land. Take it into public trust before humans could turn it into just another derelict rust belt area. The authority's vigorous and determined leadership set the pace. Knowing the watershed's natural areas would be used primarily by Hamilton residents, Spencer Creek Conservation Authority lobbied to expand the watershed to include the cities of Hamilton and Stony Creek. With expansion completed in 1966, the Hamilton Conservation Authority was not only able to purchase more land, but also to begin developments on lands already preserved. By 1971, most of HCA's founding group of directors had retired, and a total of 1,538 hectares that's 3,800 acres of environmentally significant lands had been acquired throughout the watershed, including 14 conservation areas from Fletcher Creek in Puslinch to 50 Point in Winona. The Spencer Gorge Wilderness Area, including Tews Falls, was HCA's first official conservation area opening in 1967. The birth of trail development began there with the first trail from the falls to Dundas Peak. The following year saw the official opening of Valens Conservation Area, with an entry fee of $1 per car. It was here that HCA's first organized public event was held, the Valens Fishing Derby. Known now as the John Burns Memorial Fishing Derby, the event has continued for the last 40 years, becoming just the first of many. The next decade would prove to be a time of unprecedented recreational development in the watershed. The foundation was laid for HCA's natural and recreational legacy. By constructing flood control structures, two recreational lakes were formed at Ballins and Christie Lake Conservation Areas. Campsites were developed, historical sites restored, trails blazed, and swimming curtains installed. This decade saw the wisdom of the Authority's founders proven as 10 conservation areas opened and hundreds of thousands of annual visitors came to enjoy these natural areas. The tangible legacy HCA has built is profound. 
Our leaders and staff have stood in defense of beautiful valleys, wetlands, waterfalls, and Niagara escarpment properties. Our work has prevented illegal fill and dumping in floodplains. Flood control structures have virtually eliminated the threat of major flooding. Rare and endangered species have been protected. Six million dollars in private donations alone have been secured for important conservation work. Historical sites are now preserved. We have taught more than 300,000 students about the importance of conservation and the environment. We planted nearly three million trees, which in a row would stretch from coast to coast or altogether create a forest the size of the Dundas Valley, four times bigger than New York Central Park. We've developed two recreational lakes, two rail trails, and 120 kilometers of park trails. Our lands include one ecological preserve, 12 significant wetlands, 25 waterfalls, 14 Niagara escarpment properties, seven major conservation areas with one more on the way, and one 18,000-year-old muskeg bog. And just as our founders predicted, our conservation areas and public lands have been enjoyed by millions upon millions of visitors. Almost 4,400 hectares, that's 10,800 acres of conservation lands have left a great green swath, easily visible from space, in the heart of Canada's 10th largest city. A lasting legacy of environmental protection and recreation preserved forever for future generations. Yes, there's a lot to celebrate in 2008 and plans are well underway to do exactly that. Come celebrate 50 years of conservation with us. Enjoy the legacy.